Good morning, dear hearts. We are at the third review, so congratulate yourself that you have made it this far. So today's video is going to be about the introduction to the review and then today's actual lesson, which is 111. So um, I always encourage, um, if there's a stronger word, I do that too, uh, for everyone to read these introductions to the reviews because they are packed full of information um, and they are and instructions instructions of exactly how this review is going to be laid out for us what how we are to approach it and really how we want the goal of it to be these are not idle lessons just because they're review this is a second chance at seeing a lesson that was several weeks ago and to revisit it because every single lesson builds one upon the other. Now, for this review, we are being offered offered two lessons every day to review, okay? And the, uh, the basics are to do one lesson on the hour, repeat it, one lesson on the half hour. In addition to that, there are at least two five-minute sessions during the course of your day one always, you know, recommended right when we wake up, take our head up off of that pillow or even before that, and the other before we lay our head back down onto that pillow so that we are awakening into these ideas and we take these ideas with us as we go into our rejuvenating dream state. So, um, this introduction has quite a few almost zingers in it telling us about, you know, um, the difference in our practicing and the difference in our willingness to practice because it tells us that, you know, in, in doing this and it realizes, there's a realization that every, on the hour, on the half hour may not always be feasible. Get that, depending on what's going on in the day. However, there is a huge difference, and I've mentioned this before, between not being able to do it because of a time constraint and not being willing to do it. So in this lesson, in this introduction, it says, unwillingness can be most carefully concealed behind a cloak of situations you cannot control. Learn to distinguish situations that are poorly suited to your practicing from those that you establish to uphold a camouflage of your unwillingness. And we can be very unwilling. Our ego can be very unwilling for us to practice and to give us many reasons not to. These camouflaged situations that take away our, our attention to a real goal. And what could really be more important? What goal do we really want more than peace of mind? When we realize how valuable our peace of mind is, then we will miss very few practicing sessions. Um, when we go into these practicing uh, moments, okay, it says, uh, to, well, to realize that the Holy Spirit is going there with us. Place the ideas within your mind and let it use them as it chooses. Give it faith in that it will use them wisely. Being helped in its decisions by the one who gave the thoughts to you. Okay, and to trust now what is being, has already been uh, introduced into your mind. Um, we have more wisdom in our mind now than we thought that we did, certainly at the beginning of starting this course. But the one thing that this introduction is really stressing, and others have as well, is that we need to get into the habit of the practice, even though it's the defined practice might be, you know, every hour or half hour. The real practice is to take these ideas with us into our daily life, into our daily business, 
to always hold these ideas within our mind because it is only in the practical application, not even just the practicing, but the practical application where we will experience the biggest shifts and benefits and great strides, great steps forward. So um, the uh, final, the paragraph 12, in the introduction says each day's review assignments will conclude with a restatement of the thought to use each hour and the one to be applied when the half hour forget them not the second chance with these ideas will bring such large advances that we will come from these reviews with learning gains so great we will continue on more solid ground with firmer footsteps and with stronger faith so the two lessons that we are actually reviewing are miracles are seen in light, miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. Uh, lessons, this is the review of lessons 91 and 92. So miracles are seen in light. By this point, it's probably quite obvious that only when I have allowed light into my mind can I see a shift in it. Uh, that light, that willingness to see light, to see things differently, will certainly help me to see and to experience miracles shifts. We can, of course, as I've said before, uh, substitute the word miracles for things such as love or God or awareness or joy or peace, because all of these are true. Every single one of those ideas, those concepts, these will lighten up my mind. And this is what we need to do. We need to bring light within the mind that thinks, that thinks it thinks. The light within our mind brought to us with miracles, with love, with God, with joy, peace, and awarenesses will be how I realize that miracles can be seen. And then I will realize that Miracles will bring me not only light, but I will have strength given to me from the miracle. Um, I see through strength the gift of God to me is one of the, um, the uh, things in italics um, after the review lesson itself. So we can be very strong. We can be in light today. We can know that all of our strength is coming through us by God, by love, by the miracle, by the shift in our awareness. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope this helped. It's a little long, but then again, it's two things in one. And um, I will see you here tomorrow. Namaste.